Um, I have had the longest day. I have been up since 5 a.m. I have been nonstop. I am tired as hell, but we are here because <laughs> I promised you guys a show. Um, this girl been every night. So let me see what she wants. Hello, girl. Hey, Kendra. Every night. You was up here before? Huh? Yes, I was. I actually missed your call yesterday, girl. I was passenger seat riding with my crazy best friend at Wendy's, and they wiped out was just lagging and hey, my connection. Every okay, so I feel like you have an update for me because what's going on? You've been trying on the show. Is the Wi-Fi not working? Huh? No. Uh, yesterday when you called okay. me first, and it wasn't working yesterday, and that's why I missed your call yesterday. Okay, but okay, okay. What's your name again? Uh, Mia. You've been here before, though, right? Yeah. Yes. So, what do you want to say? Because I feel like you came back on to say something. <laughs> I did not like that lineup. Like, I don't know what is going on. Like, maybe I need an out of towner or something because it, I didn't like the lineup. And then some of the Chicago men, it's just no. Like, mm -mm. okay, let's start from the beginning. What's your name again? Mia. How old are you? 30. 30. Um, kids or no kids? Two kids. How old are your kids? Uh, 14 and 2. 14 and 2. Same dad? No, different dads. Why are you not with the two-year-old dad? Uh, you know, we just grew apart and we wasn't really meshing. Okay. Um, what do you do for a living? Uh, I am the girl with the skincare business and I was working at Amazon, but now I'm bartending. Okay, so you bartend and you have your own skincare business. Yes. Um, bartend, skincare business. When's your birthday or zodiac sign? Uh, it's uh, Aries. My birthday is April 5th. She's an Aries, April 5th. All right, Mia, give it to me, girl. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I don't really have a specific type. You know, I really don't. Um, I'm just looking for someone that is actually healed because I noticed on your show it's a lot of broken people coming up on this show and they really need therapists and they're the reason that why it's mustard yellow piss in the dating pool and it's well, like girl, you got a whole two year old baby somebody can look at you like that's crazy yeah but no not really Kendra yes really a guy can look at a girl and say you have a two year old why you not with the dad like you could have worked that out but you I'm not think the that I'm not the mustard yellow piss in the pool, Kendra. I'm not the one so with the trauma. So give me an example of, that, of what's uh, mustard yellow piss. Um, for instance, people are on your show pouring out their heart of how they're still hurt. It's it's looking like they're not healed. Like they literally just got hurt three months ago and on your show looking for love as opposed to sitting on someone's couch and getting that therapy and healing to properly place themselves back into the dating world. So you feel like you 100% because I'm about to go at you hard because you coming at other people really hard. Like, like you got a perfect resume. No, you I ain't got no perfect resume. I, I, I have a therapist. First of all, Kendra, that's the thing. People are downplaying mental health. That's the thing. People downplay mental health and don't believe they need help with their healing from the past. Relationships, childhood trauma, all of that. People are ignoring that and thinking that being with someone is going to replace those voids when you really need to heal first. And then look for love. So you feel That's like all you're all the way healed? Like, like I'm perfect. I'm saying like people, people come on some, not everybody, but some people have come on the show and I'm like, oh my God, like you hurt. Like you need to go get help like and heal. Like how could you try to place yourself to when you literally coming on the show, just pouring out your heart on how hurt you were. And it's not like it was from years ago. It's like recent hurt. And it's like, damn. Oh my God. I, I feel you on that. But what I'm just saying you know, we got to be careful when you're talking so directly about other people because your resume to a guy is not what you think it is. You got two baby daddies, you got a two-year-old, and you got a 14-year-old, which means you had a child in high school, correct? Yes. Men ain't jumping for joy all the time to sign up for that. So you coming at people strong that been on my show, but the guys that might want to date you might feel the same way about you. Uh, no, so but maybe, saying, so I maybe, no. so maybe while you're on this show, you should focus on yourself and stop I trying am. to talk no, about the other guests that have once been here because you ain't got a picture perfect resume yourself. No, I'm saying that I'm. It's not with my. It's saying I'm not coming on your show saying I'm hurt. Oh my god, my boyfriend cheated. It's on not me. about that. You coming on my show talking like 
You talking down about past guests? No, like you I just comment with you. Them. Just no, you just asked me about the lineup, and I was saying no. Like, my you said you great. said people on your show you got they got piss piss girl. You need to I watch said this some bag. people come. No, I said some people come on the show is the reason why it's mustard yellow piss in the pool because some people be hurt. I didn't say all people were hurt, Kendra. I said some guests were on your show hurt. They were hurting. They needed therapy rather than trying to be on. So the you think when you love. step in the pool? So you think when you step in the pool, it's, it's crystal clear? No, I just told you, Kendra, I'm not the mustard yellow piss. So what, so, so, so what piss are you then? Tell me what piss, Kendra. I'm not on your show with a uh, hurt, with a sob story. So, okay, I'm so I'm asking you, you. So when you I get in the pool, looking so I'm, asking you, I'm asking you a direct question. When you get in the pool, what color do the water turn? So what color do the water turn? First of all, I'm allergic to chlorine. Girl, you know what the hell I'm talking about. You said everybody making the pool mustard pot mustard color. No, I didn't piss. say everybody. So I want to know. I, I want to know, know when you get in the pool. I didn't say I want to know when you get in the pool. What color is the water? Kendra, you I didn't say everybody. I didn't say everybody, Kendra. I never well, said you're talking about people, so I'm asking you a direct question. I am not so talking just... about everybody. I said some people. Okay, okay, we, we, we took that off the court. That's off the it's table. Fine. I'm asking you. I'm oh. asking you. A, I'm asking you a direct question. When you get in the pool, what color does the water turn? The color is still the same. It's still consistent. Oh, so when you get in the pool, you think the water's clear? The color is still the same. It's still consistent. Okay, let's continue then. All right, what kind of man you looking for? Um, I'm looking for, like I said, a man that's healed. Because as I stated before, some people are not healed. So please come heal from past childhood traumas, past relationships. That's one. Well, that's the biggest thing for me. Heal, healing, something that people don't take seriously or think they need healing. So, do you feel like men that are not healed aren't approaching you? I'm sorry. Do you feel that men that are healed are they not approaching you? Yes, some men are healed uh, that are approaching me. So, what's up with them? But that means that they're not compatible for me. They're not for me because some of them are too old. Some of them are like in their 40s and 50s, and I didn't agree to dating older men that far out like that. Okay, so you want to be ill. What else? Um, I want them to um, hmm, have uh, not anger issues, so no anger issues. They are mild-tempered. No, you said not, my... Like, girl, not like, girl. Listen, girl. I don't want an angry man. I don't want an angry bro. Girl. I want a man that has control girl. of his emotions. Girl, come, come on now. You said mild temper, no anger. You're going to need to watch I'm, back this video and watch yourself. Because maybe you don't know yourself. You I came on know. with a temper. No, I you didn't. Set, I, you, I, you, I, I, you set I, the tone to me. Come, listen, energy is always transferred. And because you went so hard on past guests, it made me want to go hard at you because you came on with that energy. So, and one thing, and one thing I want to say, You've been trying to come up with this energy because I've been seeing your name for weeks trying to get on the show. So I'm like, okay, I keep seeing her name. She's like, first, I feel like you've been waiting for this show to start because your name will be at the top. So you've been waiting all these weeks to get on the show to give me that. Like, you got to understand, you are attracting what you're giving. You're not coming up here sweet and, you didn't come up here sweet and kind. You came up here exactly what you don't want. I That's came sweet and kind. I was a highlight before. I came sweet and kind. And oh, you gonna be a highlight? I know this. I know this. Sweet and kind girls. Nobody sweet and nice in this world gets what they want. When you are firm and when you are very serious, which I am, I'm serious. I'm very passionate about how I speak and how I talk. That's why nobody fucking plays with me because I'm not to be played with. I'm a very serious young lady. I am not someone that plays games and joke around. So when I talk passionate, as you may have felt that energy, I'm an Aries. It's because I'm passionate. I see nothing but hurtness. A lot of people that be hurt. And it's like, people be in the comments. We be leaving, looking for love in the comments. It's like, people in here, it's like kind of hurt rather than really being healed and really out here trying to look for love. Well, first of all, if you're a person... So it wasn't like, a, it wasn't an irritated... Right, well, real quick, real it, quick. It wasn't an irritated energy, Kendra. It was just like, oh my God, like, the people are really hurting and don't believe in the seriousness of being healed and trying to date. That's well, all I'm I was saying. saying. What I'm saying, hold on real quick. Let me, let, let, for somebody in the comments, hold on, let me, let me, let me pin your ass so I can, because I ain't feeling that well anyways. 
So BBFL, Kendra, I feel like you dragging it. How about you feel like it's Kendra's show? So if I want to drag something across the goddamn TV show or on the Instagram the whole night, guess what? The hell I can do, I can. Because it's my show. So if you feel like anything's being dragged at any moment, BBFL, you can see your way out the motherfucking live. Actually, how about I help you and block you so you don't got to worry about Kendra dragging anything because you ain't going to watch it to see it. So how about that? So now you don't got to worry about nothing else being dragged. I don't feel too well. Let me tell you something real quick. I don't feel too well. I'm in Michigan. I'm at a wedding. I left a wedding rehearsal early to host this show tonight. So I would be damned if anybody ever tried to check me on how I run my show because you don't know what I got to do to be sitting right now so you can have a show with your ass in the house watching me because you ain't got nothing else better to do. So be clear. I will read you all. I will read the book, the national motherfucking anthem. From the Don't front play with me. Back. And I ain't feeling that well. So I ain't got no, no decorum. Hey. But anyways, but back to you. Here's the end, Mia. At the end of the day, the energy you are giving off is the energy you say you don't want. So ultimately, I just think you don't got it, whether it's nice, kind, or whatever, you are coming across the way of what you say you don't desire. Hurt people, yes. Well, but and then also, I want to say this. I want to say I, this. If you're a person that's in therapy, I would think you would have more compassion for people that are hurt because you know that hurt people are truly hurt people, right? So they are. So they are people who a lot of times may not know they have issues. And... Um, are really going through some things. So I would think as a person that is in therapy, you would have a little bit more compassion for those people. And you're saying compassion. So that's when we have to be adults and we have to take accountability. And we are, and this is the thing, my middle name should be accountability because you have to be accountable for wanting to be a better person. So there it is. You're, you're basically saying I need to coddle grown people that need help. And my whole thing is, it's like, no. Compassion. Not, well, people here's the deal. People, People do need help and they need to they need to really take accountability for whatever they have going on and seek out to get that help to have a better life, to move forward within well, their life. And some people are not doing that, Kendra. Hurt people do hurt people. People are hurt and unhealed and coming out trying to get other souls and count other spirits and hurt them. And so I'm listen, supposed to do that. So, so, so I, I agree to that. So now what I want to say to this, because all you can do because you came on the show, we're spending a lot of time about talking about other people. But all I would say to you is, healed people exist. You know, healed people that fit all your requirements exist. But from what you're telling me, you're not attracting that person. So you're attracting what you don't want because there's some things about you that's putting that out there. Because everything you want, that man exists. He's walking around this universe. He's healed. He got all the requirements you want, but for some reason, you're not attracting that guy. So maybe your question should be to yourself, because all you can really do is change yourself. Why am, not, why am I not attracting what I desire? What changes can I make to attract what I desire? Because I'm attracting this. That's not what I want, but I must be giving something off in order to attract that. Or maybe I'm just looking for love in the wrong places, too. I could put myself probably in a different state. Rewind this state when you say go back to denial and accountability. Because I feel yeah. like what you was dishing for other people, you refuse to accept accountability. No, I, just, no, I am a second of accountability. It also could be where I'm at in my area. I have to look at all of it from all different angles. I'm where do you in, live? I'm in Chicago. I've never Girl, I know so many great men in Chicago. There's a lot of Correct. great men in Chicago. Correct, Kendra. And I could, and because Chicago is huge. That don't mean I'm in that exact area of Chicago where those men are. Like, I just law said, of attraction I have is law to put of attraction. Myself. Like, you could fight it. I have to put it. myself out there. I'm not complaining, Kendra. I I'm not to saying, no, I, didn't, I didn't say complain. I'm oh. saying law of attraction is law of attraction. Whatever right. circles you're moving in, that's the circles you're moving in. So, if you're not moving in the circles that you desire, that's all you can focus on. Like, what people got to understand is, and I try to say this all the time, there's so many great guys. I meet great men, like, every day. You know, they're out there. They're looking yeah. for a woman just like great women are looking for men. But you always got to ask yourself, well, why isn't that great man reaching out to me? But let's just go forward because, girl, we didn't even get to none of the questions. 
So you said heels. What's your deal breakers? Uh, liars. Um, men that are indecisive and that are not quick thinkers. Are not quick thinkers. Could yes. he have kids? Uh, yes. Uh, two is at a max. Two. Can, do you want more kids? Uh, yes, of course. Um, have you ever been married? No. Do you want to get married? Uh, yes. 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 Does the guy have to be in Chicago? No. No. What's the age range you want to date? Um, I would say from 28 to 38. 28 to 38. Um, he can have kids. Does he have to look a certain way? Look a certain way. Um, he just has to be neat and clean. Look presentable. Look presentable. Does he yeah. have to make a certain amount of money? Um, yeah, um, at least about seventy-five to eighty k. Seventy-five to eighty k. Those are the you dated men that make that amount, right? Uh, yes. So why why didn't it work out with those guys? Um, some of those guys they had too many children. Because at that time, I only had one. Like, my kids are 14 years apart. So it was just too many. Those guys had too many kids. Even though they had, they made great money. It was just too many kids for me. So seven. So you want him to make that amount of money, but he can only have two kids, right? Yes. Got to be presentable. Um, mm -hmm. 28 to 38. Doesn't have to be in Chicago. Um, when was your last relationship? Uh, my last relationship was a year ago. A year ago. You don't got to answer that. Why did that end? Uh, that was with the, the child's father. Say it again. That was with the, my child's father. Oh, your child's father. That was a two-year-old? Yes. Why can't y'all work things out? Uh, we grew, I told you, we did a mesh and we uh, grew apart. Not every baby mom and baby dad situation is a hateful situation. Some people really can properly co-parent and be happy. Someone so said, you said 70, 80,000. Do you make that much a year? 55. So you so you make 55, but he has, you want him to make 75 to 85. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she answered your question. Um, you know you're going to constantly grow, right? So the next guy yeah. you meet, you might grow apart from him too. Hmm. No, not uh, with the power of discernment that I have and me knowing what I really want and what I really need. No. So the next guy, excuse me, <coughs> told y'all I've been sick all week. Um, so you feel sure that the next guy you won't grow apart from? I'm sure, yes. You're sure, okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Mia, you don't have to answer this question. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? Oh my goodness, that was about last year. Last year, okay. Mm -hmm. So Mia, why do you think you're single? I'm single because I am not where clearly the great men are. I need to put myself in position. There's great so, men in Chicago. Yes, there absolutely are, and I'm not downplaying that. It was just the ones that came to me. You are not what you're. You are not what you attract. You are what you say yes to. So the no, men, you are what you attract. That's the craziest shit ever. You're definitely what you attract. You know, you can attract good people and bad people. So you're a good and a bad person is what you're telling me. Yeah, you can have that. You can have both energies inside of you. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, that is true. You're right. But uh, but it's also what you accepting. Are you accepting good? Or are you accepting bad? So that's what it's like, what it is for me. Okay. Why would a guy <laughs> be lucky to be with you? He will be lucky to be with me because I'm healed. Um, you're I'm healed? Not... Who's your therapist? She needs a refund. You need to get your money back. I need to get my money back. Well, I have private insurance. Absolutely. I have you private think you're healed? For real? I'm private insurance. I have private insurance. You think and you're healed? You think you're healed? Oh, I'm okay, this is the thing. We still grow every day and life is still happening. You know, certain people are gonna die, certain situations are gonna happen in life to where you're gonna always be on recovery to be hurt. You might get hurt to where you're gonna need healing for certain Don't things. say your therapist's name, because I don't want her to get a I'm not gonna her yeah, name. but you need a refund. Why, really? I'm not slow You need or all your money back. All I'm of not it. Slow or stupid. I'm not hurt. I will say that I'm not a hurt person. I'm not a hurt person that's out here hurting people. I'll say that, Kendra. Instead You're of not saying, hurting people. You didn't hear the words that you said. They were very hurtful. You were talking about other people <laughs> no, in a very hurtful way. 
Kendra. What? This is the thing, Kendra. Mia, are you serious? People are, people are coming. I didn't say everybody. People are coming on the show hurt and needs to but go. But I didn't ask for nobody to come up here to talk about the people that's been on the show that was hurt. I didn't I didn't request that. I didn't request you to come on the show to judge past guests. You no, came I, on to offer that. So you came on, you came on spewing hate. All right, Mia. Give it to me, girl. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I don't really have a specific type. You know, I really don't. Um, I'm just looking for someone that is actually healed. Because I noticed on your show, it's a lot of broken people coming up on this show. And they really need therapists. And they're the reason that why it's mustard yellow piss in the dating pool. And it's well, like... Well, girl, you've got a whole two-year-old baby. Somebody can look at you like, that's crazy. Yeah, but... No, not really, Kendra. Yes, really. A guy can look at a girl and say, you have a two-year-old. Why are you not with the dad? Like, you could have worked that out. But I'm not, the that mustard, I'm not the mustard yellow piss in the pool, Kendra. You should really watch this tape back that's to see how hard or That's going facts. But why? But no one. But no one asked you that. When you come on the show, it should be about you. It should be about what you want. You decided to judge other people like you were so much better than other people. Not judging other people. It's amazing when people put out the truth. Then people want to say, "Oh, are you better than me?" No. No. no the it's bottom line is this. The bottom line is this, Mia. Mia. I'd be looking for love. Hold on, real quick. No. The bottom line is this. No one requested you to come on to talk about past guests. When you come on the show, you talk about yourself and what I you desire. It. You the one that said very strong. There's all your guests on your show. They're not healed. They're looking okay. for love. They need to be in past. They are in piss. I this is why I was guess. like, God damn. What? I'm what? To say all. I didn't say all. I said some. You're right. Are. You didn't say all. Oh. You didn't say I, all. Oh. But you should have said. How about this? You shouldn't have spent. You should have. But listen, Mia. The point is this: you shouldn't have spent any energy talking about past anybody because you don't got your shit together, whether you know it or not. You're not. You're not sitting up here. As this prize as you think. Nobody men ain't jumping. Men ain't gonna jump in your inbox. You come heard across me. very, very angry, very debatable. What it's guy good. that is nice I'm and passionate. kind and sweet sorry, wanna deal with you all day? I'm sorry, I'm a passionate speaker, Kendra. Is that a passionate speaker? You're annoying. Girl, what's your IG? I'm Ooh. sick. I don't got time for this shit. What's your IG? <laughs> and let the guys hit you up if they want to hit you up. Oh my I don't god. Care well. I ain't going back and forth with you. I done gave you too much of my energy. Now your energy come to my energy, and I don't feel oh too well. Goodness. So what is your IG? Let's do that. Oh What's your IG? It is Mama Mia Boo. Mama Mia Boo. M-O-M-M-A-M-I-A-B-O-O. -M -M -A -A -O. If you a guy and you want to meet her and she your type of woman, reach out to her in the DMs. You know the routine. Okay, let's take and it. And that's what it is, because I don't got... Now your energy getting into my energy, and we ain't going to have that. I don't feel too well. Let me tell y'all something. I don't feel good. I ain't got no patience <laughs> at all. I've been up since 5 a.m. I had to host a radio show. Then I had to drive to Michigan. Then I had to go straight to my cousin who's getting married tomorrow, his rehearsal dinner, which I left early to sit my ass in this chair to host this show that I do every Friday night to keep my commitment. So you have to understand, I'm a woman that has been up with no nap. <laughs> I ain't got no time. <laughs> so that's what it is. So just be, just know, when you come on tonight, please, I'm matching you. 